Hello, good evening and welcome. It's 8 o'clock, it's Monday, it's Monday Makes With Me. Lorna Carter, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, based here in the UK. So, tonight we are going to be making this little autumnal number using the Nuts About Squirrels. So, this is what we're going to be making and this is a book binding fold card so we're going to have a go at this it's the first one i've made i've never made one before other than this one the demonstration one so we're, we'll get cracking and see how we go hi hi chris hi lydia hi adam hi sylvia Oh dear, right. So, so while Adam's watching, this one's for you, Adam. Adam was watching last week and I made a Christmas card last week and he said it was too early to make Christmas cards. Hi, Izzy! <clears throat> so this week we're going to make an autumnal card. So hopefully, Adam, you see... It's not Christmas, it's autumn. It's an autumnal card. But us crafters need to get ready for Christmas. So that is why we start early. Right, let's get let's get cracking. I'm not as prepared as what I normally am, I'm afraid. It's just been hectic and busy. So I'll get my trimmer out. And the base card is um some basic thick white card and what we're going to do is we're going to go have it portrait and we're going to cut it down the middle at ten and a half so here we go pop that one to one side right so we now need to score i'm just going to bring that Apologies if my light is, uh, if I do that, it doesn't shine. <laughs> Just while I get my uh, my details. So, we've got half an A4 the long way. So, it's 10.5 by um, 29 point something. Can't remember. Just short of 30. Um, so, we now need to score this. So, we get this we get this fold so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, score it halfway and then we're going to put another score in and then what we do is we actually stick this piece together so it just looks like the book so what we're going to do is we're going to score normally at 14.8 which is half so that's half and then I'm going to score at 18.3 now I'm going to spin this over and do it that way at 18.3 because it but it uh, goes bends the other way opposite way so this is what we've got Okay, so bone fold it. So we're going to score that in half. So as you can see, we've got the um, half fold there, and then we're going to fold this one back on itself. So this is what we've got and we're going to glue this bit stick it down i'm glad i made him laugh lydia <laughs> um so that is the base done so what i'm going to do i'm going to create 
we're going to cut all the pieces um, to create the card. Then we'll get do a bit of stamping and I'll show you how I made the pumpkin. So the pumpkin I did with the double oval punch and I used not the scalloped um, one, uh, the straight edged one and that's how I made that. So it's just something different. You know, you don't think, oh, we could get a pumpkin out of that. It's, uh, it's um, interesting. You can bring, find all sorts of things, make all sorts of things out of um, different punches. Right, so we want the trimmer back in. And we need... Now I've used, I've got um, pumpkin pie tonight. I didn't use pumpkin pie on this demonstration one, but for the base layer, I'm going to use a uh, pumpkin pie. So I'll just get my piece of card. So the layers, this needs to be 10.8 centimeters by 10 centimeters. So I'm going to cut 10.8 that way pop that to one side and we're going to go in at 10 centimeters and we need two of these one for the inside one for the outside just make sure I've got that I knew I'd got that wrong way around what am I doing? That's better. So that is 10.8. That's it. 10.8. This needs to be 10. It's all right. My brain is fuzzled today. Hey ho. We shall get there in the end. So we should have two pieces. That's it. So two pieces. The pumpkin pie. 10.8 centimetres by 10 centimetres. That light is doing my head in. <laughs> we'll just do that, it'll stop it from glaring. Right, so that is part of the base. And then we need to cut this layer for this edge. So that piece is 10 centimetres by 3 centimetres. So if I do 10... by three. So I'm going to do it that way. That's it. That other side didn't look straight. <laughs> so that piece will go like that on there. Okay, so Next, um, I've got, I've done the stamping just on some uh, Sahara sand just underneath, just stamped uh, some leaves all in different colours. So that piece needs to be 2.5 by 9.5. So if I just bring this in, so if I go 2.5... rid of that piece by 9.5 there we go I can't pick it up <laughs> butter fingers tonight so that's what we've got and we're going to stamp all leaves on that piece okay so now the next piece I'm going to have to do a little bit of jiggery pokery here because I'm using the designer series paper, the 6x6 pack. Um, you can get it in the brights, regals, neutrals, you can get it in all the colour families. Um, but I've actually, um, this is all I've got left of my balmy blue. So I'm going to have to, you see the bit at the top here with a leaf. That's it. Sorry, it's um, focusing on my hand. Um, so this bit, I'm going to put a join in and you'll not see it with the sentiment. So we're going to have a go and try and um, 
try and get that sorted. So we'll go with the green. And the green needs to be, um, just let me, just let me double check, always measure twice and cut once. So that is on the 10 points, so that's 10.3. So it needs to be 10.3, which side are we going to? We're going to go with that side. So 10.3 centimetres. Okay. So that will actually sit like that. And then I'm going to get my uh, basic borders dies and we're going to make, make a little hill. So I'll do that next. Um, sorry guys, I'm going to have to bring her in. <laughs> it looks absolutely massive. Apologies, I just haven't got space over there at the minute. And this die will only run through the big machine going this way. So basic borders which is this one and we're going to use it's just a really good set this just a real um like one of the basics really because you've got some fantastic you've got the clouds you've got this one for the hills you've got this one like for envelopes same with that one and then these for cutting pretty edges so it's uh, it's quite a nice quite a nice set but we're going to be using this one today so I'm just going to bring in my I'll do it that way so I can see what we're doing just going to bring in that and so we're going to go in Something like that. So I, it's just a matter of putting it where you want, placing it. Just going to move that across. So I'm going to put it there because there's lines across this. I'm just going to line it up either side so it should look about a level. The, uh, the lines, they won't be all over the place, hopefully, she says. Let's roll her through. And if I do that, you can see it coming out the other side. I think that is the only piece of die cutting we've got to do tonight. Oops, I'm wrecking the joint. Okay, put them back. So that piece is going like so I might take a little bit off there yet yeah? we shall see so we can place I'm just, where's my card? I'm just gonna bring my card in so we can do the jiggery pokery bit so we want that something like that and we're going in. I'm going to try my very best. I want to be this side. There's always... You see, you could always use your... Um... That's okay. That's fine. I'm just going to mark it with a pencil. Um, you could always use white card. Use your blending brushes and your ink. Um... We are going to do some blending, but uh, I thought we may as well use these little scraps up. I can't find a pencil. Oh, tonight, tonight, tonight. Not organised. Right. So we're going to mark about there. 
and about there. So I'm just going to cut that. I didn't get a chance to come in my craft room as soon as I came in from work, so that's why I'm not quite so organised tonight. Oh, can't pick it up. Everything everywhere. So we're just going to go in something. It's not far off. That will be fine. So I'm just going to take my... Not with that rubber, I'm not. Um, I do have... There we go. Let's take that corner mark off. Right, so I'm going to place that piece down first. I'm just going to do this and get it done. So I'll just put some glue mm -hmm. on that. And I'll place it. But you'll not see the join. We shouldn't see the join. Once we pop that up like so. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to we can get around it one way or another. So, put that like that. It's not matched up at this side, but we're going to hide that anyway. There we go. And then you see, once you've got that on top, you can barely see that. But once we've got our sentiment on top you'll not see it at all in fact i might bring that down a little bit let's have a look yeah just going to take just a tad more off the bottom of there we're winging it <laughs> it that will be fine so I'm going to I was going to do it that way like that put some glue on there and just just line it up at the sides and at the bottom as best you can. Like so. I say you could always just put a, a layer of uh, basic white, get some balmy blue ink at the top, some, um, this is granny apple green at the bottom. You can make a little mask so you could actually die cut show you so we wanted the same colour but you'll get the gist so if you wanted a line say up to there do your die cut use this off cut do granny apple green up to it and then you could do your blue on top of that so just gives you ideas just all sorts of bits and bobs right so pumpkin time I think so we need the double oval punch, we need, um, I don't want to, <laughs> I nearly got my layers and cut them then, oh I'll tell you, my brain, so I've got a scrap, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut we need five of these small ovals. So I'll get two out of that piece. Whoops. We'll get it out eventually. There we go. 
and then I'm just going to cut with scissors a strip just down off there because it makes it easier to put through your punch so we need three more One. and these punches are I love these punches so you can pop it in slightly press down it'll hold it in place while you get your other thumb and finger to just press if you suffer with your i sometimes suffer with my hand and uh, it just it just helps it makes it a lot easier so we have five if i can count yes we've got five ovals going to get my blending brush and my pumpkin pie just put those over there so pumpkin pie and just a scrap of paper because I don't want it to go on my but I'm going to sit down while I do this I've got a squeaky chair so all we're going to do, I just come up a bit, so he's get each one, I'm just going to put some ink, look it was all clean, it was all new, <laughs> so um, I'm just going to put some ink on and then we're going to just go and now I know we're doing the same colour. We're doing pumpkin pie on pumpkin pie, but you can. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see the um, um, you can just see the shading. If you wanted to go in darker, we could go in with. Um, in fact, let's do it. Let's go in a bit darker. I'm going to use the same brush. Let's go in with... I don't know if you can see or not. You can just see the shading. But if you want to go in darker, let's just try it. Just to show you. We can go in. With a whoops with a brown and if I do we've gone in with cinnamon cider you can just see so what we're going to do is just go around all the edges with a little bit of color on all five So you don't think much colours going on, but when you see what's actually going on the white paper underneath, it's quite surprising. one so just with a bit of imagination we can turn these into a pumpkin okay that'll do so we can put that 
on there. Um, so I'm just going to move. <clears throat> That's it. Sorry, there's something come up on my screen and I couldn't see what, what I was doing. So we have, let me get rid of them. Five pieces that we're going to arrange. Now I did them. Got that the wrong angle. Something like so. But I am gonna put a um a piece of card underneath and stick them on so I'll just get a piece of scrap a scrap card I'm just going to pop them on just so we know where we're going once you're happy with it always cut the edge bits off if it's showing so we're going in something like something like that okay so I'm going to take that one off that one off that one off and I'm just going to lift that up put a bit of glue underneath just to hold it it's not the best way but this is how I did it so we have got a bit of wiggle room put them two next And just adjust still so in like that so like so just put it all together So you can with glue with wet glue you can just adjust as and when it has got plenty of wiggle room so I'm just gonna leave that to dry because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the blending brush just on this side but that's how you make the, the base and then just get a piece of green um, now I seem to have lost my snips I don't know if I've put them in the bin by mistake and binned them I'm gonna have to get myself another pair so if you're not sure, just draw over what you think. So it's only the top of the pumpkin, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. Okay, so we're going to stick that bit on there. And hey presto, we have a pumpkin. So we'll stick that, I may as well stick that down. But I'll stick that down with a glue dot. So we'll just go in like that. 
And there we have it, one pumpkin. Right, so I'll just leave that to to dry off. Right, so we need a squirrel. That's what we need next. So I have a piece of basic white. We have the Nuts About Squirrel stamp set. And we're going in with the squirrel with the nut. I'm sorry, there's a reflection coming off that. I can just see. Um, so we want the it's a two step or two stage stamp set. This you've got your outline and then you've got your colour. So oh, we can't forget we need the acorn as well. So I'll just put that like so. So then we've got. Put the acorn on there, the top of the acorn on there, and then we've got the outline, and I'm just going to put him on there. Oh, he might, he might actually fit. I didn't think he was going to. He does. That's fine. So we're going to go in with the outline, and we're going to use Memento. Just uh, stamp that up, and I know what I want, and I don't know where it is. I should have had my piercing mat underneath. I've tidied it away and tidied it away in a safe place. It's not in its normal place. Okay, that's come out all right though. So that is the squirrel. We now need to go in and do. Just clean that off. We need to do um, the colour. So we're going to go in with. Do we go in in pumpkin pie or do we do? We'll do them slightly different. We'll go in with cinnamon cider for a change. So I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is stand up for this. So we're gonna ink our squirrel up. And then, because the polymer stamps, photopolymer, you can see where you're stamping. And it's just a case of getting him lined up and then going in. A little bit of pressure. There we go. Oh, well, I quite like him. Nice colour. So, and that's done. Cinnamon cider. So I'll just clean my stamp and then for the acorn we have gone in with um, uh, where's my other one I've lost a colour no I haven't right so the actual acorn the base of it I've gone in in um, crumb cake and this is another one that wants lining up and I don't know if you can I don't know if you'll be able to see there is a little hand just about there that's not got any colour and it's trying to line it up I'm not the best at lining it up let's go for it so it's got the little point at the bottom so I'll try my best Oh, not not brilliant, but not too bad. It's not it's not that far off. So that's the bottom bit. That was in crumb cake, and then we're going in for the top in soft suede. So just this one takes just to line up. You can see through. It's not bad. I have gone off just a little bit, but it is handmade, hand stamped. So there we go. So there is Mr. Squirrel. So 
So what I'm going to do, we just need to um, fussy cut him out. And unfortunately, as I say, I've lost my favourite scissors, my snips. But uh, we'll just have to make do for tonight. Oops. So the beauty, a lot of people don't like fussy cutting. But the beauty of fussy cutting, one, I find it therapeutic, and all I can say is you move your card or paper or whatever you're cutting, don't move your scissors. It's all about moving the card. So we're just cutting round with just a little white border. Just like so. I do love these squirrels. I think they're really cheeky. And great for autumn. Could do a grey squirrel. But the red ones are better. Or the cinnamon cider ones, like we've done tonight. So, just... Just round... I say movie card. And there we go. This is squirrel all cut out. Get rid of my rubbish. So to put a twinkle in his eye, um I have it somewhere. I did get it out before we started. Wink of Stella. And we're just gonna put a twinkle. In his eye. So that's Mr. Squirrel done. So we now need a sentiment. So we're going to go in. I've got um, this is Mossy Meadow. What I've got here, and I'm just going to find a piece. That will do. Yeah, that piece is long enough. Okay, so we need to stamp. I've done Hope You're Feeling Bright Eyed and Bushy Tailed. So we'll go in with the same. Um, let's pop him. I'll go on there. Let's hope you're feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed. The happy birthday that I've used, because the happy birthday was only a small, oh, I'm going to cut up, it's only a small one. I just thought it looked better being a bigger one. So that that happy birthday is out the uh, stamp set artistically inked, which is this one. So we're going to use this happy birthday. This is a cling stamp set with the rubber and the... The foam back in so we don't need the um, oh, stamp and pierce mat for that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, stamp and heat emboss first um, and then I'm going to punch it out because knowing me I will um, punch it out, stamp it and it won't be right so we're going in with white um, embossing powder I've got my this is a new one unfortunately stamping up no longer do them but it's my um, um, embossing buddy 
and I used it last night and it was a, a bit full on. So your embossing buddy just takes any grease or any fingerprints um, off your card. As you can tell, look, <laughs> it's all over me now. Um, we're going to go in with Versamark ink. That is my latest one. I'm going to say I've got one that looks a bit green. So what we're going to do, we'll do the, the sentiment first. The hope you're feeling better. Uh, hope you're feeling better. Hope you're feeling bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. So just tap, tap, tap. Make sure you've got all that stamp covered in ink. And this takes quite a... It's, it's a doesn't dry quickly so we're going to go in the center bit of pressure hope you're feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed so we'll bring in our embossing powder and just put some on So that's not too bad. Having used the N M um, um oh, having used the embossing body, it's just taken sometimes you get a few stray, maybe have got a little bit there, but sometimes on this one I got quite a lot of stray pieces, so it's not the best of embossing, I'm afraid. So we'll see how we go. Let's just put that one to one side. Let's do the happy birthday. Just let me I think that was done at 10.3. I'm just going to cut this to 10.3 and then I'll cut it. That way. Is it, was it 10.3? No, it wasn't 10.3. Just bear with me. Where's me? Um, little notepad has gone walkies. So that is 10. 10 by whatever I think. So just make sure that is 10. That's all right. So I'm doing it that way. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Just knowing me. So we're going to ink up again. Ink the happy birthday up with the Versamark. And it's just like a watermark. Ink. You can just use it on its on its own. I'm just, I'm just going to stand up. See if I can get it as level as possible. Little bit of pressure. Happy birthday. So once again, bring my embossing powder in. And what didn't I do? I didn't run my embossing body over it. I don't know if you can see, just in the middle of the R, there's just a couple of strays. Just bear with me, I'll see if I can... It's a little bit big. There we go. Now gone. That looks neater. Right. So now I can pop this away. So I don't get it everywhere. So that's my embossing powder away. So I need my heat tool. And apologies because it will be a little bit noisy just for a few seconds. Or a minute or so. Just heat it up just out of the way and then we're gonna heat emboss what I am gonna do is just hold it like so and 
I don't know if you can see, it is, starts turning the hand shaking. <laughs> there we go, that's that one. Damn it, that hand, didn't it? <laughs> it's not, uh... There we go. Turn the noise off. Sorry about the noise. That's one thing with, um, what do you call them? Heat tools, they are quite noisy. So we're going to bring in the double oval punch again. I hope you're feeling better. And we're going to cut. She says. Get in and get in. There we go. I should have put something on it just to hold it. So it does just go in like so. Hope you're feeling bright eyed and bushy tailed. I'm happy with that. There we go. So that's that one. That punch is, you can use it for all sorts, it's brilliant. Right, so now the happy birthday. Just bring my trimmer back in. I'm just going to move those to one side. So I want this. Just measure. I'll just actually measure that. Um, So that it's one and a half centimetres. So let's just go in to see where that comes to. Right, just we can always cut a bit off the other side. Oh, my hands are terrible tonight. Right, so I just cut that little bit off there. So hopefully it should be roughly in the middle. Right. So that's finished with that. So where are we up to? We have the sentiment and once we get the leaf at the top you will not see that um, that edge there. Um, would help if I had the card, wouldn't it? So let's just sort of start popping it together. So that will go on there, and this is going to go the full. Well, I haven't cut it right size, have I now? Oh dear! At least we can cut some off it. <laughs> we don't have to redo it. Nine and a half. I said ten. I do remember. Well, I can. Oh dear! Let's do it to nine and a half. Nine. Just cut a little bit off each end. So nine and a half. That's it. Just got that's it. So hopefully now that should just fit on there like so. Okay, so we need to do some stamping. Also, what I'll do is for the inside, 
let's just move those together for the inside so we're going to stick this down we're going to pop that on there so we want um, a basic um, white mat so we can stamp the inside so I'll just cut that and then we can just concentrate on just finishing stamping and putting it all together right so basic white I have oops not that one I'll use this one right so we need where's my measurements again so 10.3 by 9.5 on the basic white. So this is a one that I messed up last night. So I use this. So that's 10.3 by 9.5. Fingers crossed. There we go. Spot on. We're good to go. So if I bring my scrap paper in. So what we did, I lost my cow. What we did on the inside is just stamp some leaves, different colours, and then just put a happy birthday inside. So we can do the same sort of thing. So we're going in, I have Bumblebee, which is one of the ink colours from last year. We're going with Cherry Cobbler, Cinnamon Cider and Pumpkin Pie. I'm going to dare and open them all up. Something will end up going in them. Right. Oh, so Izzy's crafting, but not with the squirrels. Oh, what can we say? <laughs> oh, I love the squirrels. <laughs> right, so put the little, you can see this is well used already. It's discolored. So we're going to go in. I'm just going to do random. So I'm going to go in with cinnamon cider. So we're going to have them diagonally across from one another. So that's that. While we're on it, to save messing about, we shall stamp this as well. So we may as well go in with the same colour. Just randomly turning your stamp. And go this side. Like so. Right. Oh, I'm banging my knee. So I'm just going to clean my stamp as we go. So cinnamon cider, I think we're done with for now. The sentiment I stamped in that actually. Okay, so in with Cherry Cobbler, so we'll go any which way, turn it round. And then just random on here. Oops sticking to it. That's it. So that's it for Cherry Cobbler. Clean stamp in between. Pumpkin pie. Right, 
So, that way. And in with Bumblebee. Maybe should have started the lightest colour first, but Lana does it. Back to front as per normal. As long as you clean your stamps, you don't uh, contaminate your other pads. So just, just going to go in and fill in. Just one more, a bit more there. Okay, so that one's all done and dusted. Just finish this off. Like so. Just making sure I've done that the right way, yeah. Okay. Clean my stamp. So we'll go in. Let's just have a look. What have I done with a stamp set? In fact, we've got a happy birthday in that one. We'll go in with Nuts About You in this one, I think. Just something different. He will just fit on. Yes. He will just fit on there. No, I've not used this one before, so I'm just going to stamp it off. Once again, it should be on a mat. I don't know what I've done. So it's not bad, actually. So we're going to go in. <coughs> Excuse me. Going to go in. In the centre, I'm going to have to stand up. Nuts about you. There we go. So that is the inside. All stamped up and ready to go. So I think we can start putting things together now. Right. Wet glue, what we're going to do is we're going to put some glue on this piece. And just stick that down. Just go in with the bomb folder. So we'll proceed with popping these other layers on. Using my favourite adhesive of wet glue. So you get your wiggle room. piece on there. I think this would look nice as a uh, shut your ears Adam uh, a Christmas card <laughs> if Adam's listening. Yeah I think this would look nice as a Christmas card because it looked nice with I didn't have any um, ribbon or anything to go with it so that's why I did this part as I have but you could put some ribbon round and tie a nice bow so it looked nice for Christmas. And then that piece is going to go on there and it's on dimensionals. Let's pop it up on dimensionals. Oops. There we go. Whoops, all fingers and thumbs. So that 
is going to go something like that. Okay. So this bit we're going to stick on the front with wet glue again. Like so, let's put a little pressure on. Right, let me pop, do the inside, I'll stick the inside bits together. So that's just going on there. So have we all started our um, Christmas card making? Oh, Chris, you've done 50. <laughs> there you go. Lids, you'll have to tell Adam if he's not watching now. Chris has made 50 already. I haven't quite made that many. I made about 30. So I've got some catching up to do. So that's going to go in there. Right, so... Is he's doing a one sheet, one sheet wonder, are you? Oh, made your own DSP. Ah, very good. There we are. Right, so this is what we've got. So we just need to, I'm just going to put some more ink on there. Just want to put just a little bit. More. This is where she puts too much on. She gets carried away. That's Lorna through and through. But who doesn't love these blunt made blending brushes, aren't they? Fab. I did eventually get them. So I've just put a little bit more colour. Let's put a little bit more this side as well. I've gone too much there, but hey ho. What do we say? It's a handcrafted card. It's handmade. Hand stamped. <laughs> Every piece is original and individual. Everybody does things differently and makes them differently. Right. So, what we're going to do is you're just going to pop in the centre. Just going to pop three dimensionals. And I'm just going to Just tweak it, bend it just a little bit. And then we're going to go in like so. And then Mr. Squirrel, we're going to do the same. We're just going to manipulate him just a little. Just to give him a bit of, you could do it with your bone folder to help out and then 
in the center I'm going to stack two two um, dimensionals so he's raised up that little bit more one on his tail and one on his face just take those off So place him where you want him to be, somewhere like that. Then we're going to go with the sentiment and once again this is popped up on dimensionals. So this is where we need to go somewhere like so. Right, I have stamped and cut a few leaves out. I'll just quickly just didn't get a chance to I'll just quickly cut these out just roughly just with a little white board around so this stamp set nuts about squirrels this is in the mini catalog um, which is available I think it's the end of December I believe I'll show you before I go where it is in the catalogue it's a good fun stamp set it's great for kids because I think they are cheeky squirrels are and then just do these a couple of red ones I'm not going to cut them all. I just cut these um, these two red ones, and we'll see how we go. And I can always finish it off later, but it just gives you the idea of how I did it. So on there. As I say, the beauty of fussy cutting is you move, you don't move your scissors, you move the card. So, like so, right. Get rid of my rubbish. So, we'll change it up. We'll have one there and one there so I'm going to stick them up with I think I did them with um, ba -ba -bum -bum, glue dots so we'll pop them on like so oops it stuck to me <laughs> I love these glue dots they are so sticky that one on there oh thanks Sylvia I was I'd seen I don't know where I'd seen a, somebody doing a pumpkin and I thought hmm ovals that's all you need just thought it was just something different great for a kiddies card because we all know kiddies like pumpkins I don't know if they like them to eat or just to carve. I am quite a fan of pumpkin pie. Just putting these on with. I 
glue dots. I'll have a red one up there. I've not cut enough for the bottom, but I'm not going to bore you. So if we just put... Uh, I might actually put them on with mini dimensions. I might just cut one more out and just leave three on. In fact, I have one here. So we'll just do it like so. Just to give you the idea. Right, let's just tidy up. So these are the two cards. This is the envelope that I stamped. I've actually stamped two envelopes because I thought I wouldn't get a chance. But that's what I've done on that one. And I'll just get my... Is it in a... Instead of being cinnamon cider, is pumpkin pie. Let's get it right. So there we go. And that's our make for this week. That's a book binding fold card. First one I've had a go at, so I'm quite pleased. Um, very easy and straightforward. And we have used the nuts about squirrels stamp set um but yes a bit of autumn just to please adam we've got the autumn card so next week um i am not here next week i'm afraid it's my son's birthday so i can't be making cards i've got to celebrate with him so i won't be here next week if i get a chance i shall um maybe do a video uh, but it will be something Christmassy so we'll maybe do a video if I get a chance and uh, release it on Monday night at 8 o'clock on YouTube um, but I shall definitely be back the week after so uh, that's it I don't think there's anything else I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching I do appreciate it mm -hmm. if you're watching on catch up and you're on YouTube uh, I'd love love it if you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, enjoyed watching, and if you could subscribe to my channel, that be I would really appreciate that too. And um, if you click the notification button every time I upload a, a video, um, you'll get a notification that I've uploaded. But uh, no, I really do enjoy doing them. At one time a day, I'd have been petrified, but. I just love it. I love to share my passion and my passion is paper craft. So I hope you've all enjoyed it and we shall, well not see you next week, it will be the week after. So thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening. <laughs>